Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something feels very different now. As much as I hate agreeing with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean... Whoa, 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 wait! Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? <clears throat> I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? <laughs> you talk! I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. But how? You just read an incantation, and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong. Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and, and reverse this. That should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, are you? Right. I mean... Oh. Oh, what the... It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. I had... This was definitely the page I read it from. But there's different text on it now. What the... Should I read it out loud? Wait, sorry, I wasn't considering your point of view here. Do you want to be a... Talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Shunu li mutuma anakulu ublui, zi dinjir anakanpa. I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? <coughs> Darn it, can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a problem. Um, By the way, Kitty, nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, dude. Kitty, is that what I call you? <sighs> Haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumbest name possible if you ask me, but I don't care either way. I don't need one. So, are you gonna um, stick around? No, I'm gonna walk the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. You'll stick around and undo this. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? That's gotta be racist or something. We're not even the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking. Yeah, you're right. I'm on it. It's our one and only treasured lighter. Well, Lemon's lighter. I'm kind of afraid of working the stuff or oven. Get it yourself, you're the one with opposable thumbs. Gonna grab this for a while. That's our tiny fridge. It's usually either full of Lemon's dubious cooking or completely empty. Hey, it's not completely empty. It's a can of Dr. Fisher, produced exclusively with fish matheria water. That ensures my lips will never go anywhere near it. I prefer Poopsie. Gonna grab this. It's our oven. I'm deathly afraid of it. Long story. Look, I'm afraid to touch the thing. I have this long running fear of leaving the gas on. And then the dorm explodes and I'm not even slowly walking away from it. I just stand there in tears. No. Hey, Kitty, think you can open that oven for me real quick and take a peek inside? Sure thing, boss. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs, you're gonna have to man up and do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. Uh, 
I can? Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. Yes, and fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger... Open the damn oven, Kerwin! Yeah, yes, yep. I did it! Hey, and there's Lemon's key. Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. Yeah, I think I'll take it. You know, for sustenance. Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. Yeah, I'll take it either way. That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Whatever was in it has probably grown more powerful with time. I got my fill of suspicious sweets. My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. Dead as... well, dead. No use, it's dead. That's Kitty, my, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I know, not the most imaginative name. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. Touché, pussycat. I'd say she looks cute, but she's within earshot. Stop. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. Nah, I don't need it. They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. Well... I don't like this new situation at all. What's left of my once impressive action figure collection? I guess I'm growing or something. Please don't drag me into your immaturity. Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Man, I hope I get to visit someday. <sighs> Okay, I've got to get my head back in the game. Yeah, yeah, pretty. Let's move on. Someday soon, I hope. Completely useless right now. That's Ron Dilbert. He's really grumpy. That's... Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. Beyond this impenetrable portal adorned with god-awful decorations lies Lemon's Shangri-La. He's such a hippie, it hurts. Me, mostly. I can squeeze under doors. Lemon knows that. He made this door particularly unsqueezable under, remember? Oh yeah, he did do that. Lemons locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat, and of course he has no phone signal or internet. Great. Kitty, I'm a little stumped here. I have no idea what to do next. We're clearly in over our heads. Maybe we should reach out to someone who knows more about this black magic thing. You've got a point. Hmm. Wait, what about my roommate, Lemon? He's my roommate too, remember? Yeah, he does know a lot of people. A lot of suspicious people. They're really into his homemade cookies, for some reason. Suspicious people is definitely who we're after. I've seen him write down names in this little notebook. Maybe we should look for it. He's away on that esoteric retreat thing, though. No way to reach him. We're gonna have to find a way to get inside his room. Uh, 
I have a feeling somewhere inside this horribly over-decorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. My eyes, they water. All right, Kitty. I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. Ugh, this patchouli stink is giving me dizzy cells. Oh, here it is. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. I think it's supposed to be a fertility idol. Kinda scary if you ask me. I would not sleep with that thing above my head, I'll tell you that. Primitive or not, I doubt Kitty appreciates art. Actually, I've been a little into cubism lately. Snob. It's one of those like tiny cute guitars. It's cute. Oh no, my band days are long gone. I don't think she'd be inclined to play that thing. We thankfully have no need for it. Of uh, all things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. Yay! It's lit up and stinking up the place. Do I look like a lighter to you? I don't want to burn my delicate fingertips. Oh, that's gaudy. Hey, looks like there's something under this. Oh, that's... What do you know? A pair of scissors. It's a book Lemon left open. Let's see here. Page on the left says, A compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. The page on the right says, Invisible ink. Use lemon juice to write secret messages on paper. Only you will be able to then read them by bringing the paper close to a source of heat. Note, make that a source of mild heat, not open flame. Hmm. No need. It's a book lemon left open. A compass is a... Hmm, the pages are all blank. What am I missing here? Let's moderately heat this baby. Yes! It worked! Lemon, one too many cheesy detective novels. Alright, kitty, now let's see this list here. <laughs> Woo! I think I got it. How's VG for all your supernatural needs sound? And there's the address, we're practically neighbors. It's the best option we've got so far. Uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Don, got kidnapped right in front of me. Oh right, you've mentioned it, let's go. But we've got to try and rescue him. All right. Do you know who kidnapped him? I guess we have no lead yet. Lead? Sam Spade over here. You know how you humans always stereotype us as being selfish? 
Uh, sorry about that? Don't be, because in my case, that's exactly how it is. I'm sorry, but I could give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend. My main worry right now is my own predicament. Why didn't you call the police or something? Oh, Darkham PD, only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town? Makes these cultists look like fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. No, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, all right? Whatever makes me A works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. All right, kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry-like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry, and I'm afraid my fur's going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline-pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova! Let's get on with it. Rare. <laughs> A weird-looking kiddo in the middle of the street. I... I think I'd better talk to her. <sighs> I'm not scared or anything. I just don't... You, you talk to her, okay? Hey, little girl. What are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy. What are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Let me try that again. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Um, Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. You know, you won't get ahead in life with that kind of attitude, kiddo. Oh yeah? What are you doing with your life? I'm a student and a librarian, if you must know. Oh, so you must be like 22, right? Um, give or take a few. That few is definitely longer than you've been on this earth. Okay, I won't say anything out loud, but I'm thinking it. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy and that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. But I can't reach it! Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. And we'll move there too. Soon. Not until I get my fishy! What's so special about that fishy? Fishies are the greatest, you ignoramus! Plus, it's my fishy. Alright, alright, settle down. Can't Grandma help you out? Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Grandma says we'll go to Fishma soon. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. Alright, weird enough. Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith lab. You know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark-haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is, though. I'll give you that. So, you're just standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always wondered about that. I just like to watch them. 
sitting there, clicking their little lies away. Okay, 